Hey church family, hope you're having a great week. If you've been with our church for any length of time, then you know each summer for the past several years we've launched an initiative called Love Seaville, which is an intentional time for us to love and serve and share with our city the good news and the hope that we have in Jesus Christ. As you can imagine, this year is going to look very different with the COVID pandemic that's taking place all around us. Many of the events that we normally have are in-person, large gatherings, and so those are out of the question for this summer. But we are really excited about some opportunities that the Lord has dropped in our lap for this year. And so in the this afternoon, if you look just below this message, you're going to find a link to a website that's got all the information that you're going to need about some events that are happening with Love Seville starting this coming Sunday. And so I just want to give you a rundown of some of the events that are going to be happening and invite you to participate with us. So this coming Sunday, we're going to invite everyone in our church to, to kind of kick off the week by prayer walking around your neighborhood. Uh, we also would love to point you and direct you to a, an incredible site called Bless Every Home. Um, we launched this initiative last summer, and so many of you have signed up for this already, but it's an incredible way for you to go online and to find out who your neighbors are so that you can pray for them by name. And so we've included some prayer points for ways that you can pray as you walk around your neighborhoods. Then on Monday and Tuesday, we are going to actually serve um, our host location. So Mountain View Elementary, formerly known as Kale, um, where we usually meet for our services. I stepped in and spoke with the principal this week, and she said, boy, am I so glad to see you. As you can imagine, um, these are unusual times and very difficult times for school administrators and their staff, and, and they really could use some help from us in helping to get ready um, to prepare for students to arrive so that they can do their best to do some in-person education. So we're going to serve there Monday and Tuesday nights from 6 o'clock to 8 o'clock. We're going to practice social distancing, and so you will not be at risk. We're going to encourage all of our members to wear masks when they come to serve, and then we're going to put you to work, and it's going to be a fantastic time. Then on Wednesday, we've got some opportunities to serve and deliver groceries to some families that we've partnered with during the pandemic in the Southwood neighborhood. You can click on the link included for some more information about that. And then on Thursday, we've got three different opportunities. We're going to do some a virtual baby shower for a family in the Southwood neighborhood who um, has been hearing the gospel over the last several months and this woman from Guatemala who just gave birth to a baby. And then as you, several of you know, we have long partnered with an organization called Young Lives in our city, which is the Young Lives um, Ministry to Teen Moms. And so uh, over the past several months, they have had six new babies that have been born to these young ladies. And so we're going to have a, a virtual baby shower for them as well. And so we're just going to invite you to, to donate some new or gently used items um, to help out these moms in their time of need. And then on Saturday, we've got a list of different ways for you to serve in your neighborhood around the people that you know and are building relationships with. And so we'd love for you to, to pray together as a family and find one of those that you'd be excited about. And then last but not least, um, starting on the following Sunday on August the 9th, I believe, we're going to have some signs available at our services and then we'll make them available throughout the week at our church office for a campaign called um, Hope Found Here. And so we're just going to, we printed off a hundred signs for your yard and for your neighborhood for you to put out with some, some information about services and ways that people can connect with our church. And so um, we know that our city and our neighborhoods, they need the love of Jesus now more than ever, the hope of Jesus now more than ever. And so, so we're hoping and praying that over the course of the next several weeks that our church will be the body of Christ, that we will engage our city with the love and the compassion and the hope of Jesus. And so we would invite you to participate with us. We love you, praying for you, and look forward to seeing how the Lord uses this in the coming weeks. Talk to you later. Have a great week. God bless.